You like American Mahjong I like American Mahjong Don't you like American Mahjong Baby Greetings everybody and welcome to my quick tutorial on uh, playing uh, American Mahjong. Uh, American Mahjong is uh, to Mahjong what American football is to football in that it has a lot more rules, it has, it's a lot slower, uh, and it can make your head hurt uh, quite a lot. Uh, unlike other forms of Mahjong, such as Rishi or the Cantonese version, you're not looking to create uh, four melds and a pair, but rather a sequence uh, of, uh, of tiles. Uh, in order to play American Mahjong, you need to uh, purchase a card, which will show you the winning sequences that you can use to succeed in the game. So I'm using the National Mahjong League card for 2022. There is another league, I think it's called Marvelous, which has their own set. Uh, every year, uh, the National Mahjong League comes out with uh, a, new, uh, a new card, which has uh, new sets of sequences. Uh, and you can play with uh, any card of any year, as long as all four players have, uh, have the same card. Uh, now, within the card, it has a, uh, a very important legal statement in that uh, the document cannot be copyrighted, uh, sorry, cannot be reproduced because of copyright law. Uh, I think it's okay to have it on YouTube. But you'll see inside that there are a whole bunch of sequences uh, that you can use to, uh, to, uh, to win in the game. Now, the, uh, the, the sequences might seem quite daunting, uh, especially given that they change every year, uh, but there is a way to categorize them. There are different types of sequences which you can use uh, to have a, a winning set. Uh, so I'll just go through them very quickly. Uh, there is one set of sequences which is based on the year of the card. Uh, so uh, this year is 2022. So uh, there are some sequences which you can use which involve uh, at least uh, three twos and a zero. Uh, and the white dragon is used as uh, as the uh, as, as the zero. Uh, it's not totally uh, that sequence. You can have, for example, uh, the first winning sequence has two flowers, uh, three greens, which means you can use either bamboos uh, or the green dragon. Uh, the year two thousand two uh, and th and four reds. Uh, which would be, I think it's only the red dragon that would qualify for that. Um, you can have uh, a sequence which involves, uh, at least with the number tiles, only even numbers. Uh, so there's one here that has, for example, the first one has four, three flowers, uh, two twos, two fours, three sixes, uh, and four eights. Uh, those are all of the same sequence. The second one has uh, two, se sorry, three sequences here. It's hard to read upside down. I used to work for a trade union. First uh, transferable skill you get for working for a trade union is being able to read things upside down. It's very good for negotiation. Uh, so the second one has uh, three sets. So you have... Uh, one set, which can be two twos, two fours, two eights. Another one, which has a set of four of the twos, and then another one, which has a set of four, four a set, uh, a kong of, um, uh, of, of twos, uh, and so on. Uh, and just as you have even numbers, you can also have, make a successful 
sequence using only odd numbers. Uh, you can have a sequence which involves some like numbers. Uh, so the first one, as you can see here, has uh, three, two, two um, pongs of flowers and then two kongs of different, different sets of tiles of the, uh, of the same number. Uh, the next one, I think, has a uh, two kongs and a, sorry, two pongs and a kong uh, of different sets, but the same number, uh, and then two pairs of dragons, uh, one of one set of dragons and another of another set of dragons. Uh, you can have one which is quince. That means that at least one of the sets is a set of five. And you might be wondering, well, how do you how do you create a set of five if each um, each tile only has four? And the way that you do that is using jokers. I'll come to jokers in a moment. Uh, you can have a, a, a sequence which involves consecutive numbers. Uh, so the first one is uh, one, two, three, four, five, or five, six, seven, eight, nine with uh, uh, different uh, sets of pairs. Kongs uh, and and pongs. Uh, you can have a set with three, six, nine. You can have a sequence which involves uh, winds and dragons. Uh, for the most part, winds aren't used very much, except for the sequences which involve uh, involve winds and dragons. Although dragons, there are a number of different sequences in the other sets. Uh, which include uh, which include dragons. Uh, I think that's all of them. Oh, the last one, the last set right here is very difficult to get. And these are all uh, singles and pairs. So each of these sequences, uh, none of these sequences have a Kong, a Pong, or a, uh, or, or a Quint. I think you can also have a sextet as well, which is six of them, although none of the sequences for um, for, for 2002 uh, involves uh, a set of six, a, a sextet. Uh, some of the sequences, a few of the sequences are only closed, uh, and you'll see a C next to, uh, next to the ones that are only closed. They're worth a bit more money, not money, uh, they're worth a bit more points, although if you are um, playing for money, then it's worth more money. Uh, the singles and pairs are all only closed uh, closed sets because you can't create uh, a Pong, a Kong, uh, or a Quint or a Sextet uh, with, uh, with any of these sequences. Just, so just by definition, they are closed. Uh, the other thing to mention as well is unlike other forms of mahjong, uh, you can have, as I mentioned, uh, uh, quints, five of the kind, or sextets, six of the top kind, but you can't have cheese. You can't have uh, a sequence. Uh, so cheese are not allowed. And the reason for that is because cheaters never, never win. Uh, right, so let's... Uh, Let's have a look at the board. Now I'm gonna be using uh, a, um, uh, an app called Mahjong for Friends. I would recommend uh, using this. It's a, uh, it's quite a, uh, quite a nice, uh, nice app. I think it's been developed by some folks in, uh, in America. Uh, you can play, Uh, you can play Cantonese uh, Mahjong, uh, a, a Filipino version. Uh, I think uh, another version, I, I can't, uh, can't quite remember off the top of my head. The one thing that they don't have uh, is uh, Rishi, uh, uh, but, the, uh, but the other ones are all here. I like it because it's, uh, uh, it's a fairly uh, simplified um layout you don't have uh 
you know, samurai soldiers or geisha girls jumping out at you as some of the other mahjong games uh, have. Um, not that there's anything wrong with it. Of course, some some people like that, but I, I'm not uh, I'm not too keen on the uh, on the animation. So this is the set here, uh, and like other versions of mahjong, uh, each uh, each player gets. Um, uh, gets 13 tiles. Uh, the last player gets 14 tiles. According to the National Mahjong League rules, uh, it's kind of like with Rishi, where the dealer picks up the first and the uh, first and the third tile on top uh, in the last round. So you have you know, you, uh, e each person gets uh, three sets of four tiles each, and then the last, and then the dealer gets the first and the third. Then each get um, their 13th, uh, 13th tile. Uh, I have 14 tiles here. I think 14, no wait. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've got 13 tiles. I'm not the dealer. I can see by the compass at the uh, in the top corner that I am uh, I, I'm the north uh, the north wind. A uh, couple of things to explain with uh, with the set that I have. Uh, you'll see here that I have uh, two jokers, and that this makes it a pretty a pretty good hand uh, because I can use the joker to replace uh, another tile uh, where I might need a uh, a tile to uh, to to make a set. However, and this is very important to know. Uh, you cannot use a joker to replace a tile which is either a single tile or part of a uh, part of a pair. Uh, and sometimes you might see people throwing away the joker tile um, uh, as they're as they're as they're picking up. Uh, and, and if you see somebody throwing away uh, joker tiles, it means that either they're very close to uh, to, to, to getting a sequence and they just need either a single or a pair uh, to finish things off, or they're going for the singles and pairs, uh, one of the singles and pairs sequences. So a joker wouldn't be of any use to them. But in most cases, jokers are, uh, are, are pretty useful because you can use them for pongs and kongs and, uh, and quints and sestets. Uh, so the, uh, before you actually start the game. You have uh, this um, uh, process of what's known as a Charleston, and the Charleston uh, is where you discard tiles uh, from your own set and you pass them to uh, to other players. Uh, the rules say that you pass them first to the person on your right, and then you pass them across. And then you pass them to the uh, to the person on your left, uh, and you do this um, do do this uh, uh, two times. Now, according to the rules, there is also a um, uh, a process of a blind um, uh, passing, which means that the other person just picks three t without seeing your tiles, just picks three tiles and 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 takes them. Uh, the uh, with mahjong for friends, it doesn't it, it doesn't seem to have this, uh, but um, uh, nevertheless, you can see broadly uh, broad, broadly how it works. So the first thing that I need to do is to look at my tiles and make a judgment of which of the sequences uh, I might want to go for. And of course, you want to try to find. Uh, a couple of sequences that you could possibly uh, possibly do. Don't um, uh, don't don't nail your flag to one uh, to one mast. There might be uh, a couple of them that you could uh, you could possibly have. Uh, so you look at your your tiles, and uh, on the one hand, my set of tiles is pretty good because I've got two jokers, so I've got a lot of a lot of flexibility there. But I can't see anything that's terribly obvious in terms of sequences that I can go for. So if I happen to have uh, three twos uh, and a win in, wind in my uh, initial set, then I know that I could probably go for one of the years. Or if I had 
uh, in, in my set uh, four of one kind of numbers, then I could probably do one of the uh, uh, one of the uh, one of the quints. And if I had obviously if I had lots of wins, um, uh, then I'd probably uh, probably go for that. This one doesn't seem to be anything that's terribly obvious. I could, there, there is a potential there for, uh, for a consecutive run. I've got an eight and a nine there. And if I got a, a seven of the, um, of the cracks, I could possibly start uh, building, a, uh, building a consecutive run. Um, but let's see, uh, let's see where, where things go. So let's, I, I know, I'm pretty sure I won't be, it, I won't need the four dots. It uh, doesn't seem uh, likely that I could use that for anything. Uh, and doesn't really look like I'm going to be able to use the bamboos for very many things. So I'll, uh, whoops. I'll uh, I'll get rid of those. So I pass them to uh, the person on my right. Uh, and now I might actually keep the flowers. Now, by the way, they're with the flowers, uh, the sequences that the, they don't distinguish between the different types of flowers. Uh, if you have a sequence that asks for, for example, three flowers, you can use any flowers, uh, flowers for that. You don't have to have all of the springs or they, they don't have to be like all springs or all summers or, uh, or, or whatever else. So um, flowers are quite useful and there are actually quite a number of, uh, of, of sequences that, uh, that have flowers. So I'll probably keep that just, um, you know, just because it's, it could prove useful. I'll get rid of the eight. I don't seem to need that uh, for anything. And I'll probably get rid of the three because if I do a consecutive run, uh, then I'll need to uh, have um, high numbers or low numbers. I can't really have all of the numbers. If I had a lot of uh, threes or six, threes and sixes and nines, I could probably make a sequence out of that. Or if they were all odds, then maybe I would concentrate on that. But I can't see that I would really use that three. So I'll. I'll pass that. Uh, and now I've got um, now I've got another I'll, uh, so I will I'll get rid of the get rid of the red dragon uh, and I'll get rid of the Four because again that's not probably something I don't need. I've got I've got two eights here, so that could be uh, that that could be useful to me. Probably don't need the uh, probably don't need the nine. Um, so, whoops, don't want to get rid of that. Want to keep that. One. Okay, uh, and now I have an eight dot a one. Uh, and it, and another one, having a pair is useful, but I can't really see how I could use those two ones with anything. Uh, get rid of those. Uh, uh, I can't see how I can use those for anything. Uh, the wins, to say it's useful to have the wins only, the, there are only a couple of sequences which involve the wins, at least for 2022. Uh, I could get rid of the north and the south wind as well, but I guess I wouldn't at this stage because it could be that somebody else is trying to build a wind set. So if I get rid of all the winds at the same time, that would uh, that would not be good. Oh, I got two sixes here, so that can help me sort of build. Uh, I'm looking at um, uh, probably one of the consecutive runs. So I've got three sixes here. I've got two eights. I've got a nine. So there are a couple of sequences here uh, that involve um, the, where I could build either uh, the top one here, if I had like two sixes, uh, or sorry, two fives, two sixes, three sevens. I don't have any sevens right now. It's not going to help. Uh, three eights. I've already got one eight. 
or and uh, sorry, I've got two eights, so I could I just need one more, and then two nines, then I could possibly do that. Or there's another one here, which is a pong, sorry, a pong of uh, of sixes, pongs of pong of sevens, pong of eight, a, a kong of eight, and a kong of nine. That might be a possibility, uh, possibility there. Now I'll get rid of the winds because I want to keep the flowers. Flowers might there are a couple of here. Like there's a there's one that has two flowers, and I just need uh, a kong of uh, six, kong of seven, and kong of eight. That's a possibility, so I'll keep that. Uh, and I don't think uh, that these are going to be useful for me, so I will get rid of those. And now uh, we're off to the uh, off to the races. Uh, so Eastwind has thrown five. I can't really use that. Can't use that. Can't use that. Uh, and then I get a five dot. Five dots not really useful to me. I'm trying to build. I'm going for uh, one of these here. Either this one. This one would be kind of tough because there are two pairs there. Might go for this one because it's it, it involves two flowers and then four kongs. Uh, and I've already got the two flowers. Um, I might go or, or this one here, which has uh, a, two pairs and a and a pong four flowers, so I'd need two more flowers, and then I'd need three dragons, or this one here, which is uh, two pongs and two kongs. So there we go. So that's what I am going for. And green dragon, I don't really need that. Uh, now I've got uh, two sixes, a pair of sixes. Uh, but again, it's not really useful for me because I'm trying to get a consecutive run of um, of the same suit. Ooh, that's a seven. Now that's unfortunate uh, for me because uh, to... Uh, well, I could, if I was being, uh, if I was going for this one up here, uh, which is two fives, two sixes, uh, a pong of seven, a pong of eight, and a kong of nine, I could do that because I've got two jokers. I could like add those two jokers uh, to make a pong. But if I do go for the, this is a tricky one because it means I have to have two pongs there. I think I'm probably going to go for this one here because I just need uh, I just need a pong of sevens. I've already got a pong of sixes. Just need one more. Well, two more uh, eights and two more nines. So even though I could take that uh, that seven, I I won't. Oh, and there's a uh, there's a nine, and that's something that I need there. So I only need. I've got uh, three nines, so I just wouldn't need one more nine. Uh, if it came down to the very end and that was the last one I, I needed, I could use one of the jokers uh, for the um, uh, for for the last um, uh, for the last nine. Okay. So I'll get rid of the three because again, it's the, there's a consecutive run of the same characters. They're all cracks, but I, I don't need a, uh, a three for this particular sequence. Uh, there's a nine, um, nine bam. I probably don't need that. Well, it looks like possibly I could use if I was trying to do like numbers because I've got two nines already, but. That's not really what I'm going to go for. Uh, so five crack. Possibly that might be useful. It might be uh, um, might be an idea to get rid of the six uh, bam, and 
then I could do either a consecutive run of five, six, seven, eight instead of six, seven, eight, nine. But it doesn't really matter. I'm unlikely to use that because I've already got three nines anyway. So it'll be fairly easy for me to get a Kong of the nines. Uh, so there's a, uh, there is a flower there. Um, Flower's not going to be really useful to me. I'll throw it away. Oh, and now there's a seven. So this is helping me because now I just need two more sevens. Uh, and um, and I'll be uh, I'll be all, all, all set. Uh, so what will I throw away? Maybe I'll throw away. Uh, the uh, flower. Okay, now I've got I've got four nines, uh, and I've got three. So I just need, uh, actually, I'm just two away from uh, from from getting a set here because I've got. Uh, three sixes. Let me just check to make sure this is right. So I got three sixes. I need two more sevens, and I need uh, and I need two more eights. Uh, so I just need two more um, two more sets, and I'll be all set. Uh, so I have to get rid of the flower, and I have to get rid of the uh, get rid of the five. Okay, so now I've now I'm just one away. So now all I need, so I've got three sixes. I need two more sevens. I need one more uh, eight, uh, and I need and, and I've got the four nine. So that's all I need. I need two sevens and one eight, uh, and I'm I just have one more that I need to throw away. So if I oh sorry I'm. I should mention here. Now it looks like if you can see in the corner here, uh, it looks like the uh, player number one uh, has made a set of um, uh, four white dragons. Uh, but he used he, he she they uh, used uh, a joker um, for one of the tiles. Now if I get a joker. I can swap that joker. Uh, uh, sorry, if I get a white dragon uh, and I don't need it, rather than throwing it away, I can swap the joker so by hitting this button right there uh, and replacing it. So that would then mean that 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 white dragon would be would be replaced by uh, the joker. So I would have one more joker. I've got two right now. Anyway, so five. Uh, and the same with this person. So if uh, if they uh, got a if if I got a three uh, um, three dot uh, in my set, then I can just what I would do is I would just put it in there. I would hit the button, swap Joker. Uh, it would ask me which player I wanted to swap with, and then I would just swap it uh, swap it that way. Uh, six. So, okay, so seven, I've got a seven there. I'll put a seven there and seven there. And uh, Pong, so I've got, if you can look here, I've got uh, three sixes, three sevens, uh, four eights and four nines, um, the Joker, acts as the uh, as the fourth eight uh, and that means that I've got uh, I've got mahjong so I would hit the mahjong button there we go and I've uh, I've won 20 uh, 25 points um, I think you get extra points if uh, if uh, if you if you if you win with your uh, with, with your own tile but that wasn't the case with me. Uh, 
another thing I should mention with, so it looks like, let's just look at the other people's hands here. It looks like uh, player number, well, wh whoever was the West Wind was trying to get a Winds and Dragons uh, uh, set. Looks like the folks here, three, four, I'm not sure what they were going for here. Uh, they, gosh, I'm not, I'm not quite, uh, quite sure. They might have been trying to go for a consecutive run. I'm not, uh, not, not quite clear. Looks like this player was going for one, two. It looks like they were going for one of the consecutive runs, which involves, uh, involves dragons. So I would say it's probably the, uh, the third sequence on the uh on the on the consecutive uh run uh the nice thing about using mahjong for friends and by the way if you like the uh, uh the mahjong for friends send them a uh the, the, the they've got a uh an faq um page with their email address just send them a nice shout out to say that they appreciate that uh, you appreciate their work because i think they've done a really nice job with this nice thing about it as well is that if you're not quite sure if you're looking at the card and you're not quite sure which uh which sequence to go to go for uh they show you uh different sequences that you could go for uh, and how many tiles you are away from them. It's not necessarily the case that the uh, the sequence with the least number of tiles is the one you should go for because you could have, so for example, you could have uh, a sequence in which you need more tiles, but it all involves Pongs and Kongs, so you can open hands. Uh, but if you've got a sequence, even if it's only maybe two or three tiles that you're away from, uh, but those tiles are in either a single or a pair, then it might be a little bit more difficult because you're sort of just waiting for, uh, for, for yourself to collect it. And of course, if you're waiting for a tile and then all four of the tiles have already been thrown, uh, then you're never going, to, uh, never going to get it. And of course, you can't use the joker uh, for that. Uh, so that's, uh, that's everything uh, about this. Uh, it wasn't a... Um, uh, just by chance or luck or skill uh, that I was able to show you a winning hand. I had won the hand beforehand. And another nice thing about Mahjong for Friends is that you can uh, click the history button and go back uh, go back in time. So I I had a successful round uh, and I went back to the very, uh, very beginning uh, and I recorded all of the moves that I made, which are here uh, to show how to uh, uh, how to uh, how to win. Uh, so thank you all very much. It looks like my computer is about to go. Uh, so I'll call it to a close uh, now. So uh, enjoy American Mahjong.